the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When upon life's billows you are tempest tossed, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings. For our good night message on this Thursday, the 31st of August 2023, broadcasting from the Salesian community of the Sacred Heart in Lusaka, Zambia, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this encouraging and strengthening message of gratitude entitled Growing in Gratitude. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? We have come to the end of the month of August, and all we can say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have allowed us to experience in this month of August. Though we have reasons to complain about things that did not go the way we expected them to go. But one thing we should be grateful about is that we are here to listen to this good night message. You know, it is good as we conclude this eighth month of the year 2023 to learn to be grateful. Sometimes small things irritate us. It can be even the bad taste of food and we get irritated and forget about the many other good things that God is doing in our lives. And we want to look at Luke chapter 17 verse 11 to 19, First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18, and Romans chapter 8 verse 28. In Luke chapter 17, we read of the ten lepers who cried out to Jesus that he might have mercy on them. He did, and he healed them. As you know, only one of the ten returned and thanked Jesus. Let us not assume that we will remember to give thanks to him in the big and miraculous moments if we don't make a habit of doing it in the small ones. In fact, a story is told of Corrie Ten Boom and her sister Betsy while they were prisoners in a Nazi concentration camp. Despite the filth and the fleas, Betsy was convinced that 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 was God's will for them. Yes, they were to give thanks even when surrounded by fleas. This seems completely unrealistic until Corey realized that it was because of the fleas that the guards didn't enter their barracks and therefore didn't insist that they stop praying and singing. Yes, even the fleas were used to bring about God's will in their lives. How can we put 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 into practice in our lives? How can we rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances? It has been noted that the Bible does not tell us to be thankful for all things, but rather in all things. Perhaps we can begin to give thanks in all things by remembering that all things, yes, even that thing, work together for good to those who love God and are called according to His purpose. As we begin the month of September tomorrow, let us aim to give thanks for the big things as did the leper and for the small annoyances like the fleas, knowing that even these are used to bring about His will in our lives or our hearts when used to grow us in gratitude. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be disheartened, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. Count 
your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God has done.